Hello art community. Um, I was asked to make a, another video to update everybody on the progress on the 16 page art journal that I've been doing from the Teach More tutorials that she posted. So here it is. I'm going to show you where I'm at now and then afterwards I will go through and kind of do some backtracking and show you what I use to create the journal um, so that you have an idea of what you might want to go out and get and uh, just kind of share some ideas. If you just want to see the pretty pictures, then you can stop after that point and I'll go on and um, keep talking. So here we go. Uh, the journal so far, let's see. I've got the front pretty much finished. I am probably not going to do anything else to it unless I add maybe some pan pastels or some distress ink to add a little bit of aging to it. Uh, the This and the Dragonfly are some collage elements from a kit that I'll show you later. Um, so there's the cover. Um, oh, uh, so paper, paper, um, all the lettering and the detailing and the swirls are done with uh, Sharpie poster paint uh, pens. The, I'll show you those later. Um, so that's the cover. Then the front flap, I've added a image cut out from a tarot card. It's a deck that I don't use. And I've got some shading around the edges with the pan pastels. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with that page yet. Um, oh, uh, nudity warning, next page. Uh, it's classical-ish nudity. It's from a painting. Um, so, uh, this was cut from a book that I have and then decorated up with the poster paint pens. Uh, cut eyes out from another element and stuck them on uh, the red pan pastels around. Um, Blythe, this is from a postcard from an order that I did. Um, I received it in an order that I did. Uh, that I ordered. Don't no, ignore me. I can't talk anymore. Um, poster paint, pan pastels, etc. Um, that's the pan pastel in black. Yeah. Um, and then a little bit more nudity ish. Uh, Venus, Will Venus of Willendorf. Um, I added some eyes and a mouth kind of a, if you could talk, you could tell us what you actually are sort of thing it goes along with the journaling. Um, my favorite page so far is this one here. This is another drawing out of a um, book of goddesses of the, the, this, the Venus, and the other Venus, I think it was supposed to be Venus on that painting, are all from the same huge kind of coffee table sort of book that I have that I was just, uh, not really fond of the text, but there's a lot of pretty pictures, so I decided to cannibalize the book. So there's that. Um, this is my oh, this is my favorite page so far. Um, poster paint over the, and made some drawing sort of things, and now I think it sort of kind of looks like me, maybe perhaps. Um, this is from an ad that I got in the mail. Bank of America, actually. I don't know how I feel about using photos, things like that, for collage. It makes me feel a little weird to have someone else's image in my journal, and I don't know them, and they don't know me. I'm okay with paintings, but I'm just not sure about the whole photo thing, so I, I don't know if I'd be able to go through and take like Cosmo and stuff and, and pull images out of that. I have seen where people gesso over photos. I might try that, you know, gesso over it and then draw back in in a kind of painterly way. Maybe I'll feel more comfortable with that. Otherwise, I think what I may do is go into some Dover drawings, images that I have, and make some copies of those and use those for collage fodder, color them in myself, because using photographs just kind of makes me uncomfortable. I don't know why. 
but that's it so far. Um, I'm very happy actually with how it's turning out. It's it's not like great work or anything like that, but I'm learning from it so that I'm enjoying that aspect of it. So um, here's where I'm going to show off some toys and what I use to create it. So if you're, you know, finished, just wanted to see this, um, I'll say goodbye to you. Bye bye. And um, everybody else can join me as I show what I used. Um,